Okay, well, good morning everyone. My name is Carl and welcome today to the Dealing Sensitively with Mentally Ill People in the Workplace course. A uh, few things first, you'll have noticed we are recording today. Just ignore the cameras, pretend they're like they're not there. A few other bits of housekeeping. Um, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we're training today. The toilets are down the corridor on the right. Uh, we'll break for lunch at 12.30 and should be out of here by 5, okay? Great. All right, so let's start with a quick show of hands. Now, who here has ever met a mentally ill person? Put your hands up. Could be a neighbour, distant relative, perhaps. Or, okay, that's a good few hands. Yeah, you. Why don't you tell us about your dealings with a mentally ill person? Well, I wouldn't describe myself as mentally ill, but <laughs> no, who in the right mind would? <laughs> but I have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I'm not ill. I've got a condition, and I'm managing it. Okay. Um. Yeah, great. Um, lots of other hands went up. Who else wants to go? Uh, yes, you, sir. Yeah, um, like a lot of people, I've had a few experiences with, uh, with the old black dog. Well, you've got a drinking problem. No, mate. Depression. Mm -hmm. They say it's like a black dog. Hey, Steve. We should keep that black dog on a leash, mate, because I'm sick of it hanging around. <laughs> Tell you what, next time you see it, how about you shoot it? Do us both a favour, huh? Yeah. <laughs> right, yes, OK, thanks, Steve, thanks, Tony. Um, no dogs allowed in here, OK? <laughs> right, OK, well, um, does anybody else particularly want to share with us, or shall we move on? Because we have got an awful lot to get through today. Yeah, I've had some major gambling problems. Is that a mental illness? Eating disorder? <sighs> God's sake, isn't there anybody normal here? It's just I need a normal person to help me demonstrate this next exercise. How to deal with mentally ill people in a sensitive and non-judgmental manner. Anyone? We haven't heard from you and you look fairly normal. Oh, no, I couldn't. No, 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 come on. I, no, I, I get a bit anxious. Oh, don't be so stupid. Come on, get up. No, please. Oh, God, we're going to make a star out of you. Carl, just let it go. What? I'll do it. Um, no thanks Fiona, we don't need anyone with multiple personalities for this demonstration. Come on. I'll do it. I'll do it. Alright then. I suppose you'll have to do. There's your script. Okay, come on, stand up. Come around here. Okay, now, Tony is going... Yep, just now. Tony is going to be playing a mentally ill person who somehow wandered into our office. And I will be playing a staff member who has to deal with him, OK? Right, let's take it from the top then. Hello. Can I help you, sir? Help me. I'm hearing voices. I'm a very mentally ill person. Are the voices telling you to do something to harm somebody or otherwise damage property? No. That's very good. Now, are the voices telling you that you should go home? I think they are. I think the voices are telling you that you should go home and have a nice little lie down. Yes, you are right. The voices are saying I should go home and lie down. That's good. That's very, very good. You go home now. And you have that nice little lie down, OK? Bye bye. OK, so everyone, what did we notice there? Anyone? That you're a complete dickhead? <laughs> yes, thank you, Steve. I shall choose to ignore that little outburst given your mental health disorders. Uh, now, anybody else? Oh, here's an idea. How about somebody who hasn't got a mental problem? Hmm? Anyone? No? Okay, well, 
What a normal person would have noticed there was how I diffused that potentially dangerous situation. He would have noticed how I engaged with his delusions before successfully moving him along. You would also have noticed my correct use of appropriate body language. This allowed me to show him that I was a friend. Okay? Yeah, great. So then, now, who wants to have another go? Hmm? I see. Okay, so, what? You know it all already, do you? What with all your vast wealth of personal experiences of dealing with mentally ill people? Hmm? What could I possibly teach you? Never mind the fact that I'm the one with the Diploma of Human Resources. Mm, you got one of those? No. Right. So what, this is all just a big waste of time to you, is it? Okay. Well, look. It's almost 9.15 now. What say we break early for lunch? Hmm? Give yourselves a nice early mark. Yep, uh, how about you just um, gather your bags and your coats and um, yeah, don't bother coming back for the afternoon. I think we've pretty much covered everything we're going to do this afternoon. So, yep, that's it. Congratulations. Uh, you have completed the Dealing with Mental People course. Why don't you all give yourselves a nice big round of applause. Come on. After the class, Fiona and Mary had a lovely morning tea at a nearby cafe and then decided to see a movie. Fiona gave the movie four out of five. While Mary gave it three and a half. Fiona stayed in town and did some shopping before meeting her daughter for an afternoon coffee. While Mary went home to do some gardening as it was such nice weather. Steve went to the gym after the training had finished. He had been meaning to go for several days but had been too busy at work. He did some weights, cardio and stretches and was overall quite satisfied with his workout. He got home in plenty of time to make his specialty gourmet pizza for dinner as a treat for his wife and kids. Tony arranged to meet up with several of his golf buddies for a quick round. This turned into drinks and dinner with wives and partners at the club, where Tony won a meat tray. Tony's partner Phil, a keen amateur chef, was delighted. Andy had a difficult moment after the class ended early, but he called the gambling helpline and they talked him through it. Becky found herself at a loose end too. Andy and Becky got talking. They wandered around the shopping centre for a while and had lunch together. They decided they, decided they, they quite, quite liked, liked each, each other. other. All, All participants, participants considered, considered the dealing sensitively with mentally ill people in the workplace course to be a day well spent. Carl is available to deliver a range of training courses, including working harmoniously with ethnics, being patient with old people, and cultural sensitivity. What not to say around Aboriginals? 